So I just figured out a really cool way to do sprite animations in After Effects. First of all, I also figured out a way to do sprite splitting really quickly um, using a program called Sprite Splitter. I'll put the link in the description. It's a free piece of software. All you can do is you can click individual things within sprite sheets and it will recognize boxes and you can actually save them as like 123.png. And that's really great for importing into After Effects. You can have uh, sequences like this. Um, I'm not going to show you. I'm going to show you quickly how to do that. You can go to Import File, and then as long as they're named sequentially, like 0, 1, 2, you can select them all and go to PNG Sequence, and then they will come in like that. Now, beyond that, um, I also found this program, this plugin called SF Caddy, which is really cool and really makes the process of switching between poses really quick and really easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Mario sequence. I'm going to put all my animation, my poses in here. Go one frame over. I'm going to trim that all. And then what I'll do is I'll make them all on one frame. Actually, they're, they're two frames, so let's make them all one frame. Okay, and I'll also have the walk animation. And you can mix and match uh, idle poses with animations. Actually, did I make that a little... Yeah, this is a little too quick. Let's before we go there, let's you know go to interpret footage main, bring that down to 10 frames per second, slow down the animation a little bit, bring that back down. Now we can see that's that's nice. And what I want to do is I want to go to Control Alt T. That will bring up my time remapping. Option click this, and then go to property, then loop out. Click out of that. Let's go to like five seconds, bring that out. So just we have a good amount of, of looping going on so we can have some leeway here. Now what I want to do is I'm going to make a new new composition. Let's just make it 1920 by 1080. By the way, I scaled all these up by 10 before importing them into Sprite Splitter. So they're a good size. I'm going to bring Mario in here. Um, and I'll just do a new solid so we're working with some you know, we can see what we're doing here. Uh, let's bring him down here, and what's really cool is, now that I have this set up like this, I can easily open up SF Caddy. It's it's 25 bucks. Um, I'm using the trial version right now. You can, I'm totally gonna buy it. Um, hit load items, and then it will load all those individual things as, uh, like, like poses, basically. And it can be animations, and it can be still poses as well. But you want to make sure you want to go to keyframes instead of... I think the default is markers. You have to select keyframes or else everything kind of gets screwed up. Um, so check this out. Now I can go to walk and it'll just do that. And then I can easily switch that into an idle. So now it goes from a walk to an idle at that keyframe. And then a crouch. Um, actually, I think you probably have to pause it before you start selecting things. But yeah, you can very easily switch between... Uh, keyframes, uh, uh, poses rather. And yeah, so that's just really exciting. I wanted to share that. It's called SF Caddy. I'm going to put the link in the description. And I hope somebody finds this helpful. By the way, there is a way to fix that. You can easily just go like that. There you go. All right, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and uh, let me know if you have any questions.